Hey, hello, I am back from my vacation and what a great vacation it was. But it's also good to be back in the shop too. I got a lot of things to do. Now, one of the things that, um, um, that has made me the most money and it's one of the basic mechanical things that I do is fitting bearings. And uh, usually the things, uh, mechanical items, power transfer cases, um, hydrostatic transmissions, motorcycle engine cases, and things like that, um, usually come to me severely damaged with uh, the bearing pockets ripped out and maybe they've been welded back together. So um, I get these things back together and all those things work on, you know, roller bearings, ball bearings, uh, Torrington drawn cup bearings and all types of bearings. And uh, the most important thing is alignment. And um, I'm getting this machine going. I don't use it very often, but I use it for bearing work. And I want to build some spindles and I'll probably encounter some spindles that uh, need to be rebuilt in the future. So what I have here is just a basic uh, Herrig uh, Super 612 uh, surface grinder. And like a lot of uh, surface grinders uh, this size and quality, they're just excellent if you maintain them correctly. And this is one machine that I scrape the ways on uh, when it's needed. and. Um, I'll, I'll show a test part on it, and it's just remarkably accurate. Now, one of the things I have on this machine that really makes this just more usable is uh, the electromagnetic chuck, and this is a fine pull chuck, and it has electric um, controller, and it's just got a really good grip on uh, spacers, thrust washers, and things like that you need uh, for a uh, spindle construction and just general bearing repair. So this is really quite an important machine uh, for me. And uh, as I discuss uh, working with bearings and precision bearings, um, I'm going to try to find alternatives uh, and mention them for uh, people that don't have all this equipment. And uh, I have this equipment because uh, I do a lot of it, but if you only have one thing or part to, to fix, I'm going to try to throw tips in along with uh, fitting uh, precision bearings. And uh, I have some great uh, uh, reference materials uh, from the Barden Corporation regarding their bearings and other bearings um, of um, grade 7, grade 9, grade 5. And uh, I have a lot of experience with uh, angular contact uh, spindle bearings and recently gained experience with uh, high precision spherical bearings for uh, woodworking equipment. So uh, this is very important machine to, uh, for, for what I do, but you can also hand lap things and stuff like that. It's just a, a lot more. Uh, time consuming. Okay, now I'm going to get out into the shop and discuss the other machines that I use for uh, uh, precision bearing work. So I'll see you out there.